Hi dear students, welcome back. Today we are going to learn past perfect tense. In the last class we have discussed past continuous tense. When you learn these tenses, you have to follow the order strictly and understand very clearly. Past perfect denotes earlier of the two actions. If there are two past actions, the action which is more past will be expressed in past perfect and the other action will be in simple past tense. Tandirikunna sentence ili, rand past actions undangil, a rand past actions il, adhyam nadanna past action edano, adhine nammal past perfect lum, randamad nadanna past action nammal simple past lum ane express cheyendadu. Adhine ane past perfect enn parayendadu. Example, I had worked, nyan nadanni tunda iru nu, you had worked. He had written a letter. We had bought a car. She had left already. James we can see the use of had in these sentences. Past perfect tense means that the use of auxiliary had along with verb 3. That means past participle form of, of the verb will be used along with had. Had will be used with all of the subject, plural or singular. That can be used he, she, it, this, that, had plus v3, they, those, these, we, you, they, likewise plus had plus v3. The time word for past perfect tense is before. Munbu in the Lartan. You can see here an example. In this example, the train dash leave the station before I dash reach yesterday. Both our actions are in past in this sentence, but more past action is then more past action in the sentence is the train had left, and the less past is I reached yesterday in the station. So the train had left that action. Put it in the past perfect and I reached it yesterday in expressed in simple, simple past. The train had left the station before I reached it yesterday. Nyan in the station il etunadini munbe train poitundai no. In these two actions, the leaving of the train that is more past, so that put that was put it in past perfect and the second action I reach it in the station that is less past or that is not not more that is not more past up to the level of the first action so that is in a simple past when we reached the college the exam started see the line both actions are simple past then we reached the college that is in past. You can see in the past line past. And the exam started is also past. This is a one example. Then see the next example. When we reached the college, the exam had started. Here, the exam had started happened earlier than we reached. So, past action, more past action is the exam had started. That comes before the action of we reached. So you can see there in the timeline to into marks. The exam had started happens at the first, then we reach it happens in the second. So that the exam had started, put it in past perfect, and we reach it in the college that put it in simple past action. The exam had started before we reached the college is also correct. When we reached the college, the exam had started. 
or the exam had started when we reached the college. That sentence can be expressed also. The exam had started before we reached the college. Exam, Nangal College Lithuna in Munbu, Exam Tudengi Tundirunu. Nangal College Lithia Paul, Exam Tudengi Tundirunu. Anganiana Adene use in the You can see here examples in When I dash meet to the principal, he had dash go out. Here, which action think of which action happened first? Here, the first action happened is that principal had left the office. So, when I went to meet the principal, he had gone out. Nan principal in a kana and went to poyapol, principal stalam vititundirno, principal poitundirno, he had gone. He had gone happened earlier than I went to meet the principal. The show days begin before I days take the ticket last week. The show had begun before I took the ticket last week. Here, see here, the show had begun that expressed in past perfect because it is an earlier action than I took the ticket. So that is expressed in past perfect. The show had begun. Show Tudengi Tundirunu. Before I took the ticket, Nyan ticket Edukuna in Munbe. Nyan ticket Edukuna in Munbe. Cinema Show Tudengi Tundirunu. See the next example. When the police dash arrive, the thief dash escape. Which is the first action and which is the second action? The first action is that the thief escaped from the place. So, that means the thief had escaped. That is in past perfect and the police arrived later. So, that is in uh, simple past action. When the police arrived, the thief had escaped. That sentence also can be expressed in the thief dash escape before the police arrived. The thief had escaped before the police arrived. So, the first action or the more past action is the escape of the thief. So, that is expressed in past perfect and later police arrived. That is expressed in simple past action. See these examples. He was sick because he had dash eat too much last day. In this sentence, the first action is that he had eaten a lot of food in the last day so later he became sick so that expressed in he was sick he was sick in simple past and because he had eaten too much last day he had eaten too much last day that action happened at the beginning and later he was sick that action or his sickness is later action or lay, later state so that is in simple past the man looked very familiar. I had dash see him somewhere else before. So, I saw him that action. I had seen him somewhere else. That is the first action happened. Then later, so he looked very familiar. The man looked very familiar. I had seen him somewhere else before. Then before it dash rain, we had day stop playing tennis. Before it rained, we had stopped playing tennis. Here, they stopped playing tennis is the first action before it rained there. So, raining happened or it rained there happened in the second as the second action. And the first action is that they had stopped the play. Likewise, see the next sentence. They had dash move into a new apartment before they dash leave the place. The answer for that, they had moved into a new apartment before they left the place. The first action is that they had moved into a new apartment, but later they left the present residing place. 
then uses of past perfect tenses if there are two past actions in the same sentence the action which is more past will be expressed in past perfect that already we saw the train had left the station before i reached yesterday in the sentence the first action is that the train had left so that is expressed in simple past the second action is i reached the station yesterday that is put it in simple present when we reached the college the exam had started the thief had escaped before the police arrived here the thief had escaped already after that the police arrived so the thief had escaped expressed in past perfect and the police arrived expressed in simple past see the next sentence when i went to meet the principal he had gone out that means that the principal had gone out already that is a first past action so that is put it in past perfect and i reach it later so that put it in um, simple past tense this is the first use of past perfect tense the second usage of past perfect is in reported speech in reported speech simple past action and present perfect action become past perfect action he said i saw her in the office that will be changed into he said that he had seen her in the office we will learn reported speech in the later videos then second action is that he said i have finished the work that action is a present perfect action that will be changed into past perfect tense so he said that he had finished the work then the first action i saw her in the office is a simple past action that simple past action will be expressed in past perfect tense when we change into reported speech the third use of past perfect tense is in if clause that means it is used in subordinate clause in if clause that means type 3 if clause will be expressed in past perfect tense if i had studied is a subordinate clause in this if clause then i would have passed the exam the first sentence first part if i had studied is a subordinate clause that is expressed had studied so that is past perfect then if you had told me earlier i could have taken some precautions if you had told me earlier is a subordinate clause or subordinate sentence so that subordinate sentence is expressed in past perfect tense had told ni ennodu paranjittundayirunnengil njan kurache mun karudhil edukkumayirunnu ennalla artham aanu so this is used in type 3 if clause in subordinate clauses the fourth use of past perfect tense is used to show an action took place in the distant past there had been a king long ago there had been a meeting likewise that means an action that happened in the distant past will be expressed in uh, past perfect tense Thank you for watching this video you have to make your own sentences and change accordingly in all of these tenses